It is a rather warm and sunny day, December 2023. For those of you who are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Zach Sife. I post regular content on what it's like being a professional musician in today's modern music industry. So what am I vlogging today? Well, if you can see, I'm just, just a little bit nicer than the tank top and black skinny jeans that you're used to seeing me wear in Crash Party. That's because I've just started a nice little stint with the Ever After Band, which is a full-time wedding band here, mostly in the tri-state area, which is awesome because that means less travel, less expenses, and because they're weddings, that means we get paid more. Want to take some time today to kind of go over what makes these wedding gigs different from what I used to do with Crash the Party, Evolution X, Rockets, etc. Kind of go over my thought process and how I prepare for these gigs because they're a whole other level and a whole other beast, especially at the level of production that the Ever After Band brings. So without any further ado, let's check it out. So when it comes to weddings, the biggest difference is the kind of music that we play and the way that we prepare for these kinds of shows. The biggest thing is that weddings always have introduction music. All right, kids, we got a nice big group here, so I need a nice big round of applause as we welcome in the bridesmen and groomsmen led by the maid of honor, Nicole, and best man, Jason! Couple intro. I want you to give it up for the newlyweds. Give it up for Mr. and Mrs. Fiore. And then we have the first dances. We have the bride and the groom. We have the daddy daughter dance. We have the mother son dance. And we learn custom two minute or so arrangements of all of those songs so that they can have these specific moments to remember for the rest of their lives. Anything, more than anything. Let's go over what's inside my Pelican case for the Ever After Band. Do you guys know by now, F9, it's my tried and true. Gives me access to all the sounds that I need, which we'll go over when we get to the gig itself. This first pouch, I've got my own microphone, the Sennheiser 945. This complements my voice super well. It's what I use with every band that I perform with, and it lets me know that I'll have a consistent sound on my voice every single gig. I've got a just-in-case bag that has some cables, a multi-prong USB charger, tons of AA and 9 volt batteries, and I bring my own in-ear system so that no matter what band I'm with, I always have access to my own. This is the G4 from Sennheiser. It's the best you can buy, definitely recommend that. When it comes to wireless units, you guys know that I switched to the Shure and this thing has been fantastic. Also doubles as a mute switch. I got the pack for it right here. So that comes with me everywhere for wah and whammy style stuff. I've got the Dunlop Volume X. These things are fantastic, super reliable, better than the Ernie Ball stuff and less prone to breaking from the mission pedals. Over here, I've got an assortment of cables. I've got XLR, quarter inch, I've got patch cables, power cables, and then my toolkit, which has all of my tools, extra strings, you guys know that by now. An iPad so that I can read all of my scores off of it because we have a lot of music. I have a Bluetooth page turner so that I can turn the pages with my feet. And I have a Killer Hercules two-in-one stand for tablets and iPhones to attach to my mic stand. Last but not least, T-Bone from LSL. I use this for the majority of the night because a lot of what we do is pop, funk, R&B, and Motown. And then the Majesty, mostly because it has the acoustic piezo, so I don't need to bring an acoustic guitar. And this is great for the rock stuff at the end of the night. Fits my Quantum Industries GTX Mark II triple guitar touring case. I've got my different guitar straps. Always use these nice thicker leather straps because these are longer gigs. You might be playing for 15 minutes, you might be playing for two hours straight. So nice heavy duty comfy straps are a must. And now that the car is all packed up and I've gone over my process, I'm all prepared, I'm all set, all the gears in the car. It's time to drive on down. Today we're going to Allentown, New Jersey. We have a 10 piece band with us with a full brass section. It's gonna be sick. So let's go check it out. hour and the ceremony are being held in that building and the reception is right in here. I'm 
guys know I use the FM9. Same sounds that I'm using for Crash Party, just slightly modified here. All the same effects and everything. We got the wah pedal set up. This color. Got the Shure Wireless. Got it. Sennheiser in here. And I showed you guys my guitars before. Let's kind of zoom out and give you a wider perspective. Yeah, man. There's a I have So that's the bandstand from the floor. So one of the tricky things with weddings is we have a mix of instruments that go direct and a mix of instruments that are live and acoustic. So for the guitar, bass, piano, the drum triggers, all that kind of stuff, those go direct into the board with the vocals. And it's a lot easier to mix those because we don't have to worry about the acoustic properties of them traveling too much because we don't have any stage volume, no amps, no monitors. But when it comes to the horns, the percussion, and the drum set itself, in a room like this with extremely high ceilings, it can be tricky to mix that. So what we do is we sub-bus everything. A sub-bus is when you take instruments from your mixer and you group them together so that instead of moving all the individual faders, you set them all so that they're, they're mixed. And then in the sub-bus, you can just take that one fader and move all of the acoustic instruments up or down, all of the vocals up and down, etc. So that throughout the night, we don't have to worry about moving 10 faders at a time. If just the horns are too loud, we can just take the horn fader and move that up and down. Look at that. Yeah, that's a cute little uh, what a nice Ladies and gents on saxophone, Andrew Kennedy, come on. Take the punks home, feel it, funk it, ants in the trunk, and I got more rhymes in the cops in the dunk, get thrown up shot, so enough, I got props, kick, put my hip, put my mama, go oh, one, two, three! some noise for that happy couple friends and family it has been an absolute honor to entertain you Kristen and Tyler we want to wish you guys all the love and happiness life has to offer we're the ever after band it's been a pleasure to entertain you everybody get home safely